They go for the Darkseer themselves. In comes Tim's rotation. Cask bouncing around. They got the slow. Maledict tick onto KP. In comes the uh, Impale onto two. KP is going to get first blooded by Tim's. Nice rotation in from Tim's. The top lane is as expected. Bottom lane now. That gives a chance for TNC to get another double Impale from Tim's. Raging Tater is dropping low. Raging Tater is going to die. Ninja Boogie TP through. So they at least get the kill in on Gabby, which is a very big kill to take. While Gabby kills off Ninja Boogie in the bottom lane again. All the action in this game happening. Their bounce runes are going to spawn any second now. Tim's does try to get back. TP rotation going to get cancelled. Uh, Tim's will just be able to walk. Oh, Moon actually recharges his bottle with the bounce rune. He's going to get swashbuckled upon Tim's. Tim's is pretty, uh, yeah, 114 in a tri lane situation. They're trying to reach Raging Taters, but RML does not have the uh, range. Slow him down. There's going to be a stun from Tim's onto Raging Taters. Raging Taters turns around and tries to get, I mean, like, nice attempt to try and turn around and go, get back to your team. KP has not dropped as fast and deep as I would have expected. This could be all four bounty runes. This is all four bounty runes for Mineski, and they take back the gold advantage. Moon, however, is going to get killed off. They pop the shrine. Oh my god, it's so cold. Rod of Atos on to Moon. No way that you can get out of a, a Rod of Atos for uh, Moon at the moment. He's building into the Garden Greaves, which should help him. Ajit has finished up his Dragonlance for extra range attack range. There's going to be a Rod of Atos on the Lone Druid. Vacuum Wall comes through. KP is going to get taken out. Lone Druid is maledicted, and with the the death ward from the low ground ajit is dropping low does have the shrine to pop is he gonna get finished off yes he is the tp should get cancelled here by moon and a nice triple for the side of tnc finishing off ninja boogie as well and now they can go in that roche bit dark seer uh, the third troll warlord bkb is gonna be next after his s and y Braze is also going to go for the BKB, so they're going to get great timings. Ninja Boogie is going to get stunned up, and with those ion shells all around him, he is surrounded. They get the Maledict off on the bear. Bear would be a nice 300 gold, plus he would have to resummon it again. And now Moon will be able to TP towards his team, but now TNC are fully spread out. Issue. Very easy kill to take as well. Boogers gets caught by Tims. Tims is all over the place. A buyback by Boogers. Eju is going to get caught again, but it's uh, it's actually both position fives buy back. The fight's going to continue. There's the Serpent Ward drop. The Shackles is not going to be enough. We have Cuckoo chasing them down, and Gabby with the cleave as well. They are on top of each other. Gets Ajit and Raging Tater. There's going to be a wall place, but it's not going to connect on anyone. We have the Hex on to Cuckoo, who needs to get back, but he should be full. Oh, actually, nice vacuum coming through. It's not going to be at all anywhere near enough to get some kills. Issue with the heal running around. Gabby comes in, though. They're still stuck inside the Serpent Wards, and Gabby gets an easy cleanup there. So that to his into oh my god they just jump past moon there's going to be the vacuum play coming through the serpent wars drop raging taters will not be able to get anything going and he will lose his life kp is going to be next and a, a buyback onto taters immediately ajit is being chased down gabby will be hunting that ass and ajit no chance in hell cuckoo on the very verge of dying will be able to tp back to base actually survives it because moon is not there in time they get captured gabby's on a godlike streak Gabby's gonna go for the high ground. Yeah, I mean, Rod of Eight does a good job, but it does literally nothing if he's gonna go stand there and hit the high ground. Armel has the cheese. Gabby has the Aegis. Gee, the actually went for a Manta style on the Razor. Static Link on the bear. Thank you very much. Free damage. Can turn this into some more tower push. Uh, Cuckoo with the vacuum play coming through does place the wall It's gonna connect on KP who's gonna get slowed down because of it And that's gonna be at least the kill onto Ajit KP should be the next one He does pop his ulti but the healing power and the sustain on TNC should be more than enough RML will be able to go for Ninja Boogie the rolling thunder of Moon is gonna get one kill And that's Iju and for the rest he does manage to swashbuckle back into his base But they're gonna start to lose some structures full megas if they want to risk it. I mean, they they might as well. They've got an Aegis and a Cheese still left. So of the Aegis and he wants to go for a Butterfly. Going in, they spot out KP. KP gets vacuum back. Do they get him killed off before he gets his Poison Nova off? He does get it off in time. The Serpent Wards get dropped onto Armel. Uh, Darkseer is dropping low. Darkseer. Cuckoo is dead. Does have a buyback. Immediately uses it. Will have to run for a very long time. Has bought out the four staff. 
They lose two TNC heroes with the buyback used on the uh, Venomancer. And they're chasing in after TNC. Gabby, they still have the Aegis Cheese. They will actually lose Armel, who had the cheese. Cuckoo is now a little bit stuck. Ajit's bear is going to die. Gabby is still really powerful. At, I don't know what happened, but I th assume Cuckoo, Vacuum Wall, they're all dead. KP gets caught, slowed down, and Najit's going to be the last one to fall. Ninja Boogie going to be hunted down. Actually, they're going to continue the chase there. In comes the cask bouncing around. They really want to get Ninja Boogie. There's going to be the Impale. Sunstrike is going to come through. It's going to land on KP, which actually drops him pretty low in health as well. But first blood goes to Cuckoo in the top lane. Cuckoo now needs to be careful. Because he is dropping low against Ninja Boogie. And he doesn't have any regen. Does have a surge to try and run away. With all these creeps surrounded. Gathered together. Actually, he's just straight up going to get right clicked down. Good, on far good farm. Ajit bottom lane not doing that great in farm. Is going to summon a bunch of skeletons. Which is going to be a problem possibly for Aju. But the slow on Ajit means he does have nothing. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to go. Tries to get a possible crit in on Aju. And uh, experience is the most important thing an invoker needs. And that is why he's going for the Hand of Midas. It is... Uh, it is a experience gaining mechanic. Moon kills of Armel in the middle lane. Bottom lane, Iju is going to take out Ajit. They're going to go in on Raging Taters. Who's going to fall? Ninja Boogies is going to get rooted up by Gabby, who even pops the battle trance to make sure that Ninja Boogie will not be able to escape. And that kill is for Gabby, who's now on a killing spree. KP is a little bit out of position. Sunstrike comes through. It's going to connect. KP does pop his Guardian Angel, but the Maledict Tick... Is pretty hefty. Is it going to be enough to kill him off? He does th pop the heat purification. Last maledict tick is going to finish him off. And Iju is now going to try and retreat. Runs right into the bramble. Raging Taters wants to go for the kill. Has the bedlam available for the damage. Tims is actually tanking the bedlam damage. Gets the spy carapace off onto Raging Taters. Who's going to get maledicted? And Raging Taters should take down to the maledict damage. Iju is now trying to run back towards the tower. Is going to get behind the tower. Uh, they, however, will lose Gabby to Moon, who rotated in, and uh, now he's just mainly banking on the fact that he can just blow someone up in a second. Bottom lane, Iju's gonna get caught, Moon finds him again, Avalanche Stoss, and Iju dies. Top lane is gonna be pushed in, the tier 1 versus the tier 2 bottom. Uh, Aju actually kills off Ninja Boogie with his, I guess, his Maledict Tick there. There's going to be the Mereska Fear there. Going to deny the tower, possibly. Last kill. Hit. And Gabby gets the kill on the tower. Now they're on the retreat. The wall gets placed down. The vacuum to drag them back by Cuckoo. And in comes Gabby, who wants to fight. There's a nice stun and an impill afterwards onto Raging Taters. And Raging Taters is now rooted. Nowhere to go. The Sun Strike is perfect. Is Taters going to get out? It is, oh, do, smoke gets broken immediately. There's gonna be another, is that another vacuum coming through? By Cuckoo, yeah. Yes, it seems, no, it wasn't another vacuum. They were just on top of each other, troll water dropping low. He did pop his battle trance, it's now on a cooldown, but they will take out almost everyone on the side of Maneski there. Uh, Wraith King, uh, no, not Wraith, well, also Wraith King. How the hell, Cuckoo, what? He, he does place the wall, but. How in God's name do you let that happen? Moon comes in with the avalanche. He's not going to get any more connection there. There's going to be the cast bouncing onto Moon. With, he tosses Gabby to the high ground towards KP. And Moon is going to die. KP needs to be a little bit careful. In comes the fear. Mereska pump fakes the fear. Actually, he's not going to finish up that cast. KP is dropping low. Did the spirit vessel damage on... Uh, debuff on him is doing a lot of work and tnc take out the tier one tower in the middle lane terrorize available roshan should go in favor of tnc predator tornado comes out from armel darkseer gets the wall in vacuum i think was used as well yes moon is gonna get taken out and they're chasing enough to kp now kuku needs to be careful with his health and KP does not have the healing power because he is being spared vesseled. Roshan got killed. Gabby grabs that Aegis and is now looking for a kill. Armel is trying to get the slow off. And with the cold snap on KP, he's definitely going to be right click to oblivion here. No chance in hell that you escape from this Gabby. With the surge in uh, movement speed increase, with the alacrity buff from the evoker, is just hella strong. 
They do manage to grab the control on Voka. Voka is dead. Wraith King's going and gets stunned up. Has no way of getting out. He's going to get taken out. Raging Taters throws out the Terrorizes on the very verge of dying. But the vacuum from Cuckoo to finish the job. They get the jump in. There's going to be a fear on the Dark Sea. That's the one that they need to focus down the most because... The vacuum wall keeps on destroying Mineski's team fight. There's going to be the save attempt coming through from KP with the Guardian Angel, but we still have Gabby just right clicking down Ninja Boogie. Gabby is going to get the kill there. Looking for more. KP is now being hunted. His mana is going to get completely evaporated, and he's rooted, chased down, slowly ticking to a crisp. And Armel, I think, killed him off with the Meteor. Tim's is going to get taken out by Ajit, who tries to run away at the moment from Gabby but the wall is gonna slow down Ajit Gabby gets the root no he doesn't get the root but the centaur stun was more than enough to control Ajit that's gonna be the first life of Gabby and that's gonna be the second uh, for, sorry of Ajit and that's gonna be the second triple kill for Gabby moon with the shadow blade think oh Ajit on the wrong end right here does have magic sick charges doesn't even... I think he didn't get them off. No, he's going to get killed off before he gets his reincarnation off. They get the lift up on Omni Knight, who's now stuck. And also out of mana, also out of health. They lose three Mineski heroes. And with this AoE Surge coming out from Cuckoo, they have that incredible movement speed to try and hunt down Moon, who is going to Shadow Blade. And in the middle lane, we have Gabi with that Alacrity buff and with that ridiculous fervor, uh, amount of fervor stacks. Toss back Gabby towards the uh, Minaski side, taking almost no damage. There's going to be uh, Moon being hunted down. Gabby does not pop his battle trance yet. Still has a satanic to heal up. Nicely, there's a stun on KP. KP is dropping out of mana. In comes the meat ball. And Gabby, he's still, he did pop his ulti this time, but he's keeping that satanic for when his ulti is over. They again get rid of Ajit, who again did not have enough mana for his reincarnation. Gabby wants to push out the top tower. Oh no. Oh no, he's rooted. Oh no, whatever shall this troll warlord do? Oh no, stunned. E. Yeah, I mean, Sprout nice, but he can change into range. He's tanking all their spells at the moment. They have a lot of control. Sunstrike comes in. Dark Willow is going to get taken out. Armel just controls up Tater. And now Gabby is looking to push this. But there are no creeps in the top wave. And in the middle wave, they are pushed all the way back. Ninja Boogers is now stuck. Trying to... Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Vacuum wall. Sexy vacuum wall by Cuckoo. They kill off almost the entire TNC lineup. Moon is going to toss up and kill off Armel. But he does have buyback on Armel. And bots to boot. Uh, Ajit, uh, Guardian Angel comes in from KP. They're chasing in after Ajit. And Ajit will pop his BKB. Turn around. Get some hits in on Cuckoo. Should not be able to get the kill on Cuckoo though. And the AoE Surge gets used. They will immediately turn this over towards a top set of racks. Take with the Electric Gabby. Die. KP will be dragged back. The Meteor Ball will throw, be thrown down. And they are pushed all the way back to their fountain. The Meatball. Ball. Actually, Ajit's going to lose his first life. KP is going to be chased down by Gabby. Who still has his ulti available. In comes the Cataclysm. Gabby pops his ulti and should with the cheese in his inventory. Even has that age still. Eats the cheese. Swaps in his boots. And they're going to finish off these tier 4s. Everything freezes up all of a sudden.